the word of the Messiah, the Holy Bible. The springs is the Holy Bible, the word of God. The word of God is that spring of water. I am the living waters. He who comes and drinks from me shall never thirst again. Women, you're saying this well belongs to your father Jacob. Truly I say to you, whoever drinks from this water will thirst again because the water of this well comes from beneath, but the water that I give come from above. Not earthly, heavenly. I am the Logos, the word that descended from heaven. I am the living waters. Drink of me, church, so that you never thirst when, the, when you face the currents of the world. You never fall. But you drink from the wells of the world. So uh, how much did they give you in grants? Five million? 10 million, 100 million. Well, I can't say to this government no because they're giving me water. So what are we going to say? We can't miss out on the water. So we'll say to our faithful, do what the government says. I brought it later. Do what the government says? Am I just going to do what the government says blindly? Even when it's evil? And then you come and say the governments are from God? <laughs> what a joke. <laughs> now that was the funniest joke I've ever heard. The government is only defined from God when it does what God wants. Not when Satan wants. Thus far, government do an absolute evil. The Lord is the light of the world. The Lord is the truth. The Lord is the living waters. The Lord is the everlasting God. His name is Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Period. People of the world. There is only one God. And you will face him one day sooner or later. And you will face Jesus. You will not see anyone else. You hold on to Moses. Moses will do you no good. You hold on to Muhammad. Muhammad will do you no good. You hold on to Buddha. Buddha will do you no good. You hold on to Krishna, Krishna will do you no good. I'm saying it with all love and respect. Please, whether you are going to take this and put it out of context, change it, twist it, uh, falsify it, that's your prerogative. But I'm not going to go there. But I'm saying it to you in a very plain, simple English. I am saying and declaring, confessing and professing that Jesus Christ of Nazareth is the true divine God who was revealed in the flesh over 2,000 years ago. Yes, he has come. Yes, he was crucified by the Jewish people. Yes, he was placed in the grave, in the tomb. But he rose from the tomb on the third day as it is written for he is the Messiah and the Messiah lives forever he will never die he didn't die he died in the flesh but he went as alive into the depth of the Hades and brought out all those who are captive held by Satan who slept on the hope of resurrection when the Messiah comes he raised them from that depth of the of the Sheol Hades, and then he gave life for those who accepted him as Lord and Savior. Now this is the true divine God. And I'm saying it not because I'm a Christian. I'm saying it not because I'm dressed up in this outfit and I have a cross around my neck 
and a ring in my finger. I'm saying it because Jesus Christ revealed this truth to this piece of wreck and the real. I not only believe, I know. That's why I'm saying it. It's got nothing to do whether you are a Christian or not. It's got to do with the truth and with your salvation and redemption. Jesus is the only answer to whichever question you have. He is the only medicine for every illness you have. He's the only one. You want to believe? Up to you. You don't want to believe? Up to you. Sooner or later, you will find out for sure. Just like the Lord revealed it, He will reveal that to you. I hope it's not too late. I hope it's not too late.